believe your horsey myths, you'll know there's nothing more terrifying than a chestnut Shetland mare. Join us as we train not one, but three of them. So here we have Dancer, Cresta and Tilly. Cresta and Tilly are an experienced carriage driving pair and Dancer is new to work completely. Cresta and Tilly need a little bit of reschooling as they've had a few issues. Nothing too serious, it's just that Tilly has been letting Cresta do all of the hard work and this has made Cresta a little bit stressed. So what we're going to be doing with these two is working on some new formations that will allow Cresta to take things a bit easier and make Tilly do a little bit more work. So we start things off here with Dancer. Here she is doing some of her connection work in the round pen. She's been introduced to her harness and she's happy with all of that. For more details on the basics, do watch our Training Horses to Carriage Drive video where you'll see the different stages that she's been taken through. Once she's completed all of these, she was able to start driving with Tilly. As you can see here, Dancer's on the left, Tilly's on the right, and they're working quite nicely as a pair. From here, she was able to go on and drive down the road happily. She's only young, so this will be pretty much all the work that she does this year. She'll be turned away to mature and she'll come back in next season to do some shaft work and to advance her training a little bit more. But she is also able to do some of the lighter work in the formations that come later in this video. So this may look a little bit off the wall, but basically what we're doing here is teaching Cresta that she can work as part of a pair without having to do all of the pulling. She's hitched in really loose and Opal is hitched in in a normal manner. So Opal is pulling the wagon and Cresta is really just along for the view. Now I know some of you might be offended by the fact that there's baler twine in a lot of this video, but there's nothing more quick release than baler twine if you've got a pen knife in your pocket. So for starting young horses, it's actually quite a useful tool. And here is Tilly being reintroduced to shaft work. Tilly hasn't been driven in shafts for a little over six years. And this is a brilliant way of making sure that she is actually doing some of the work, or in this case, all of the work. What will come next is driving them as a tandem. So today, for the first time, these girls are driving as tandem. They already have done a lot of pairs driving, but they've had a, a few little issues like everyone does. Um, the lead mare. I am front Cresta, she leans out to the right when they're pulling together as a team. So we've decided to put it in a different formation and um, what it means is we can give um, Cresta an easy day. So if you notice her traces are pretty slack. But Tilly at the back here, who's the lazy one that's been letting Cresta do all the work for several years, you know, um, is actually doing all the work, which is lovely. It means that we can score two horses separately, but at the same time with that next one. Second drive with Cresta and Tilly as a tandem. Um, you can see they're weaving all over the place a little bit, but again, a little bit better than yesterday, so that's what we want. It's just a little bit of progress every day. And what we're looking for with Cresta, the lead horse, is um, a little bit more re relaxation. And if you notice, the ears are flicking beautifully. We only left the yard about 
a minute, a minute and a half ago and she's already relaxed into her job. And that's all we could ever hope for, really. Once we'd had a few practices with the tandem, we were able to make things a little bit more exciting and move on to some formations with the team of three. So here we have the hammerhead or the pickaxe formation. We've got the two girls that need lighter work up the front, which is Dancer and Cresta, and we've got Tilly and Shafts doing her fair share of the work. And here we have a random formation. This is quite a difficult formation to drive. You've got three separate sets of reins in your hand and you are driving each pony individually. We've got Cresta up front, Dancer in the middle and Tilly in shafts at the back. So we'll probably actually add in a fourth pony. I really. <laughs> Right, from this angle, you can't see any of the string or anything. Perfect. And this final formation is a unicorn, which sees Cresta up in front and Dancer and Tilly working as a pair on the back. So this is the girls driving now they've been back home a few weeks um, as you can see their owner Ginny has invested in the proper kit and is not using bale of twine so everyone can calm down and Tilly has even been out competing as a single in shafts at indoor driving trials and she won her class see you can make the baby good girl you know what, I can, no, if I do that do you know what I can see nothing <laughs> Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed our video please don't forget to like and subscribe or even leave us a comment.